Hmm. Oh, hey there. Today we're going to look at how to draw faces. When I got really serious about drawing, there was one thing that I really wanted to be able to draw, and that's the face. Now, if you look on YouTube, you'll see that there are dozens of videos that explain you how to draw the face. Most of them are focused on drawing the features of the face. This is the eyes, the nose, or the mouth. But overall, they miss one essential thing, and that's visualization. Ooh, visualization. It's a bit different from drawing because for drawing, we actually need a pencil, but for visualization, we just need our mind. Hmm. To visualize, we need a couple of shapes. This is a rectangle, a triangle, and a sphere. These shapes can be used to draw nearly anything, especially when you can visualize them as a three-dimensional form. So for example, if we turn this rectangle into a box, this triangle into a pyramid, or this sphere into a sphere or orb, of these three forms, the box is the most important one. So let's see how a box helps to draw the face. Here we have a couple of faces. Now, one thing I'd like to point out when we look at these faces is that the face in comparison to the hat is pretty small. The face is just in this area, while the hat has all this other space to fill. Also in this image, you can see that the face is not so big in comparison to the whole hat. Also in this animation, the same thing counts. So instead of focusing on drawing the face, we should start with drawing the head. And that's exactly where this box comes in. So let's lower the opacity of the image and draw over these boxes. Now that we have the boxes, we can draw in the proportions of the face. And the face comes in three proportions. We have the top side of the brow line and the underside of the nose. And there's a little bit distance from the top. That's where the hairline starts. Now on average, we can say that the head has three planes on the front that divide up the face. The second step is to determine the size of the face. And we're going to do this with using a triangle. Now the landmarks for this triangle are, are the edge of the eyes and the underside of the middle of the mouth. We connect the lines and there we have an indication of the size of the face. Now remember that one of the thirds was the top line of the brow line and the eyes are a little bit lower so we place it on average here. Now we're a couple of minutes in this video and we haven't drawn a face yet. Again I want to stress you that there are tons of videos online that show you how to draw the face. But in this video I really want to focus on the visualization. Ooh, visualization. If you like it so far, consider subscribing to my channel. Another thing that's important to see is that the eyes are inside the skull. We can particularly see that over here. There seems to be a little bit of a bump in our head. We can also see that over here in this one. So instead of seeing the face as a flat rectangle that just is like a robot face, we should chisel away a certain part and give it a little bit more depth. And that's exactly this part. Chop, chop, chop. Now, remember that this is one of the thirds. So that's where the brow line hits. And the other part that we're going to take out is close to the underside of the nose. So that's the other one third. So what happens is that we get this. Now, if you remember correctly, the triangle hits the edge of the eyes. So we can just line it up with the triangle. Bam. Now all these different shapes over each other make it a little bit unclear what's going on. So let me do another drawing of a box where we chisel away this depth of the face and we add the triangle. And now you can actually see that this box already communicates the angle of the head and it gives sight on where the features of the face will be placed. So with this form, we already have a great beginning of a face. 
Instead of focusing on the details like the eyes, the nose and the mouth, we focus on the big shape first. And this gives us a better understanding of the proportions of the face. Now, I might sound a little bit pushy on telling you this, but I focused on the details for years and I didn't improve like I wanted to. By doing this for a couple of months, I've gotten a better understanding of the proportions and the placement of the features. Drawing these forms doesn't necessarily help your drawing skills, but it does help with your visualization skills. In my opinion, drawing just means putting a line on a paper, and it doesn't really matter where this line goes. But visualization is seeing what you are going to draw. It's actually what happens before a drawing. In this case, during visualization, you're focused on the proportions and the placements of things. The more advanced an artist is, the more time he or she will spend on visualization. Ooh, visualization. You can kind of relate visualization to concrete. It's kind of boring, but without visualization, there aren't buildings. Uh, no. Without concrete, there aren't buildings. And without visualization, there isn't real form in drawings. If you don't visualize, you'll probably look for the features and draw these without relating them to each other. And you'll end up with a drawing like this. If you've drawn a couple of these pages, you'll get better at visualization and thus drawing. Besides drawing these boxes, there's another way of practicing this skill. And that's by observing. Each time you're with someone, try to visualize this box around their head and try to see how this affects the triangle we talked about and the gutter that we took out for their eyes. You might think this is not something that's going to help me, but I've been doing this for the last couple of months and I really see an improvement in my drawings. By doing this, I get a better understanding of three dimensionality and this really shows in my drawings. By training your visualization skills, you train your drawing skills. Now, I hope this video was helpful. If so, leave it a thumbs up and share your thoughts in the comments below. And for now, have an awesome day. Bye-bye.